friends, welcome back. We're doing another RC car vlog. It's kind of more of a monster truck, so it's really a RC monster truck vlog. Point is, I've been having so much fun with this 1 10th scale RC monster truck basher, or whatever you want to call this thing. We've been going around finding new spots from where we're usually doing RC drones and looking for dirt mounds and all sorts of things to jump off of and run through and it's just been a lot of fun. I think one of the things that I really enjoy about this is that it's mechanical. There's so many moving parts. As you know, I'm mostly into FPV drones. So much fun, but the only moving parts are the motors and everything else is more in the software. But this stuff, you got suspension, you got motors, you got servos, and you can feel the changes with making kind of physical changes or modifications, right? So I've really been enjoying playing with different shock oils and seeing, oh, that makes it a little bit more stiffer over the bumps, but it takes landings better. Today we're doing a little more work on this thing. We got some mods I want to do and just clean it up. This body is in really, really bad shape. So we are going to be hooking it up with a new body, but we're not just doing cosmetic stuff. We are going to be doing some modifications to the performance of this. We have here a wide max kit. This is a kit that is going to widen the wheelbase by replacing uh, all the control arms. So we're gonna get, I think it's like a total of 40 millimeters wider stance. Out of the box with stock tires, this had just a lot of roll and it would flip over pretty easily. So widening the tires and like I was talking about, tightening up the suspension a bit with the oil and the springs, that made it perform a lot better. And I'm really interested to see if we take it even wider, what are we gonna get out of that? Of course, to pull this mod off, we had to change some other things like the drive shaft. So we got that to go with it. So let's get this, we got a ragged body out of the way and tear into this thing. All right, we got our first corner almost completely assembled, but before we finish attaching it, I had to do a little spring to swap. So I had to pull the spring off, this is the front, and I had to take this spring from the rear, I already pulled it apart back here, and move the rear spring to the front, and then the, uh, the kit comes with new stiffer springs for the rear. So pretty straightforward, I just have to keep all the spring straight and not get anything confused. Okay, this front, this one goes here. So original versus new. Yeah, we have a lot more room to work with, so I think in addition to This is looking sweet, and I feel like it's gonna make a pretty substantial difference. I'm excited to get it out there, give it a drive, see how it handles. We can't take it out, we can't take it out with this old beat up body. This looks too good. No, we're gonna hook it up with a fresh body. So what I've got here is a new body. Now they do sell bodies that are pre-painted. Actually, I don't know if it's paint, but point is it comes with the crazy graphics like the the original body I have has and I just I've never liked the the I, I, I want something more clean so I just went with a clear body and I'm just gonna do a real simple paint job on it I've just got some white silver and black but I just want to do something simple something that looks kind of scale and that's why I went with the white wide max arms because I think I want the main color to be white 
you've never painted an RC body before, what might seem kind of weird is you actually paint the inside. I thought it was weird the first time I heard that, but it actually makes sense because then you won't scrape the paint off when you're crashing and scraping up the outside. So we're gonna do a little bit of masking on the inside just so we can have some accents and then, then we'll get to spraying it. Side all masked off. This gives you sort of an idea of what I'm going for. I think, I think this is pretty good. spraying the body. Now I did break one of the kind of accepted rules of painting bodies which is you don't put dark colors over light colors but I like to have a black inside because if you're ever at an angle where you see inside the body I just don't like seeing color. Also tried kind of this splotchy technique on the truck bed. Yeah, but okay. Anyways overall I think this is gonna look really good, but right now, as you can see, it looks pretty bad because there's all this like overspray on the outside because we didn't we didn't block the outside. If you've ever done this before or if you read this sticker, you know that's because there is a protective film on the outside just to make painting easier. And now, now it's looking really shiny. Now to complete the look, we've got some decals that give the appearance of windows and some other scale features. And then there's all these plastic pieces that make up the internal structure and the clips and all that stuff that we've got to attach to the new body and then we'll be good to go. So I don't want to show the final look until the body's actually installed on the car. So I'm going to finish up all this stuff and then let's take it out. This is looking really good. I'm really happy with how this came out. I think the white is super clean. We got some decals from my friend Sean. He's got a laser cutter, so we were able to cut out some drip decals and some rotor ride decals. And overall, I just like the, the white body matching the white wide max arms. So we gotta see how it actually drives. So we've brought this beautiful rebuild out to a really dirty spot, but it's gonna be fun because there's lots of mounds and features that we can jump off of, and we've even got some ramps in the back of the truck that we're gonna set up. So we're gonna put the uh, Wide Max Rebuild through its paces. Just gonna get a couple more shots of this thing looking prime before we immediately cake it in mud and <laughs> crack it and bash it up again. <laughs>
Uh, my car uh, is cooling down. Sean broke out his X-Max and we moved the ramp back a little bit and, oh my gosh. I shouldn't put the X-Max in my vlogs because it makes my Max just look so puny. <laughs> In, so we gotta pack it up real quick. Sean, thank you for filming. Thank you guys for hanging out. That was really fun. I think the wide max really made a big difference in a good way. I'm, I'm happy with it. I was worried it was gonna be too, it's raining too much. Thanks for watching guys. Persevere. <laughs>